Hello everyone, this is Ron from High Tech Legion and this is part of a review of the Gigabyte H77N Wi-Fi Mini ITX motherboard and this is the part where we take a quick overview of the UEFI BIOS it is actually, this is the F2 version as you can see there and it defaults to the advanced settings but you can just press F1 on your keyboard and it automatically goes to the uh, 3D BIOS mode. You can see there you can either use your mouse. I'm using a wireless keyboard and mouse combo and you can see that it is completely working there. The 3D BIOS is an easy access uh, GUI sort of uh, to go through those settings. You can even rotate that. Uh, does it have a, it's not, it actually is using a, a micro ATX motherboard as a Diagram it doesn't exactly match it, but uh, it gets the job done because you shows you if you highlight the uh, CPU and the, the uh, memory area, you get the system tuning. And also get the uh, rear panel. If you click on the rear panel, you can enable or disable each port. You got the Drive control. By default, it's 8 AHCI with F2 BIOS. That's good. You have the PCIe. And of course, if you go to just advance or click the advance at the bottom, you have one, you get the traditional nested option. You get MIT status. Just a quick overview of what you're working with. Processor installed. And a frequency setting is where you would do your overclock. It is an H77, so you cannot overclock with the uh, traditional Z77 way but you can still adjust the base clock you have the uh, rest raster core features and you have the memory profile adjustment for uh, you can load an XMP profile or the multiplier same thing with advanced memory you have uh, individual channel timing you can adjust it to there as well and for the voltage setting, you only have, unfortunately, the DRAM voltage adjustment. You don't, you cannot uh, undervolt your CPU voltage uh, for those who want to use that as a, as an option. I, I believe the H61 had this option. The Gigabyte H61N had it, but uh, they don't have it anymore for the H77N. You have the PCL status and miscellaneous settings for the type of uh, the PCIe and what speed you want to run it as you have the system again you have system date and time and the drives installed native port information you can enable hot, hot swapping, hot plugging you have the bias features, you have the uh, boot option here for the high drive VS priorities you can, if you have more, more than one drive installed you have your peripherals have a XHCI preboot driver and other options for peripherals. You have audio and USB, you can disable them there or uh, enable the internal graphics adjustment here. Uh, set it maximum of 512, well, actually, one gigabyte. The default is 64 megs. Watch the device super IO and uh, the Intel Smart Connect. The power management and lastly you have the save uh, and exit tab where you can save and exit save a profile or do the quick boot override and also you, there you can see if you look in the right side corner you have options for uh, printing the display uh, rather taking a screenshot you can if you have a thumb drive plugged in you can just and that's formatted in FAT16 or FAT32. You can just hit F12 and it will create that screenshot. Also, there is a multi language adjustment. You can just toggle through the various. There's Russian, you have uh, Japanese, you got Chinese original, Chinese modern, and also you can just switch back to 3D BIOS once again. So, that's pretty much it. And just that was just a quick overview of the Gigabyte UEFI Dual BIOS. For, for the H77N Wi-Fi, you can 
click on the description below to go to the overview and unboxing video of the H77N Wi-Fi motherboard and also the link to read the full review of the Gigabyte H77N Wi-Fi motherboard.